Hello, my name is Corey Payton. I'm with Life Horizons Coaching. And this is an Evergreen production on one of the first songs I produced from Evergreen called Beautiful. I hope you enjoy. Have you ever stopped to wonder, what is life all about? How is, how is it that life even exists as we know it, as we see it, as we experience it? Did you know scientists have been blown away by the sheer odds of life existing at all? That and let alone life to exist, let alone matter to exist, but for human conscious beings to come about, the, the odds are just mind-blowing. They like it to an image of a, of a tornado storming through a sheet metal yard and, and in its trail leaving a fully formed Boeing 747. So in some way, <laughs> A tornado has has turned around all this sheet metal and constructed a seven four a Boeing seven four seven. So these are the odds we're looking at that that we actually exist at all. So it's interesting that if life is such a miracle and is such a gift, what is life all about? In the first part of this, this song, it's about a person that is looking about, upon creation and sees not just the creation, but behind it, the artist, the creator of the creation. And they experience that they're not alone. So they see the clouds of morn, they see the flowers of the dawn, and they feel they're not alone. Creation is a spectacular thing. How many times have we seen a sunset or a sunrise and just gone, wow, that is beautiful. Have you ever noticed that when you go to an art gallery and you look upon the work of an artist, uh, whether it's a landscape or a painting of, of, of people doing things. Have you noticed that sometimes you can can see the artist in his work? You can, you can kind of get an idea of who this, this particular artist is. And you notice sometimes work can be really dark and, and depressing and it says something about the mood of that artist. Or an artwork can be very colourful and very seem joyful. And again, that says something of the, the artist. So when we see these beautiful sunrises, these beautiful sunsets, this says something to us about our Creator. In this next part of the song we hear that you're in my head, you're beautiful and many of us can relate to 
to loving someone and, and always thinking about that person. Always wondering what they're actually thinking, where they are, what they're doing. We can be obsessed with loving that person. In the same way, many of the saints have been obsessed with their Creator and they've fallen head over heels for the Creator. Saint Catherine said in a prayer, What reason have you for creating humanity in such dignity? The unimaginable love with which you saw your creature in yourself and became overwhelmed by him. For you created him through love and you destined him to be such that he might taste and enjoy your eternal good. And also we hear from St. Paul who states beautifully, I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with the power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith and pr I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And even Saint Ignatius, he formulated what he considered to be the principle and foundation for life to, in our existence. He emphasised we need to keep the end in mind that we are created for a purpose, for an end. And if we, if we are off that end, then we, we don't fully become who we're meant to be. <clears throat> For Ignatius, the only legitimate end of our lives is to glorify God. And it's, so it's not to gain attention of people, not popularity, um, not to have things or power or money, but rather to be focused on our Creator, to live our lives uh, channeled, as it were, and directed and focused on our Creator. When we love someone, we want to show our love, we want to express our love in some way. We can express our love through words, we can express our love, our love through gestures, hug, a touch, and we can express our love through making something and giving a gift to someone. Now, it's as if this, this artwork of our of our Creator is expressing something of that. That in His love for us, He's expressing uh, all these things for us to enjoy. That even ourselves, being a, a creation, we are created as an expression of love, as an expression of acceptance, as an expression of being belonging and an expression of being good. So we are an expression, as it were, of an, an artist. In the next part of this song we hear the voice of our Creator singing to <clears throat> us. And we hear that the words, you've fallen off the edge of the world. <clears throat> when we look around the world today, have you wondered how did we get so busy? It seems our focus is either on doing, 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 or our focus is on just to have, have this, to have that. I'm working so I can have this. And often we get it reversed when we should rather be 
and then the actions will follow <clears throat> and then from there we'll have what we need. Before your eyes and ears could taste my delight And all that I could ever give is your claim Be beautiful oh, Be beautiful oh. So now we come to the, a part of the song where we hear the words of our Creator giving us a command, as it were, for us to be beautiful. Now because we are created by this, this creator that is all love, all belonging, all good, then it follows that we being his create, creation are all these things, that we are good, we are accepted, that we belong, and that we're, we're loved. Now, I'd like you to imagine what that's like. That if you were being all these qualities, being loved, being accepted, belonging, and, and being totally good, what would that look like? What would you be doing? How would people see you? What would people hear you saying? What would you need to believe? What would you need to stop believing? <clears throat> what would you need to take on? And what would you need to give up? So what would it really feel like? If you, what would it feel like in your body if you were all accepted, all beautiful, all good, and all belonging. <clears throat> what would that feel like now? What about a week from now? What would you see yourself doing? Where would you see yourself being? What, perhaps even a year from now. Now knowing that you are these qualities already, what action do you need to take to actually have this come about in a more powerful way. What do you need to do to to really be these qualities all the time? So now coming back to now, what would you do? What do you need to do? What's the first step? Perhaps as a first step now you can sing along with the end of this song where we hear the person singing, having heard the Creator say be beautiful and you're beautiful. Having heard that, they now sing to their soul. Come arise, come arise, you're beautiful, you are beautiful. Perhaps you can make that your song to your own soul. And that from here, from this point on, you can go forward being who you truly are.